on some of the filters here so you can see what's going on. But uh, this is one continent on the map. We started off roughly here, and uh, we were fighting around here in that air battle, and then we drove down here. So throughout the course of the demo so far, you guys have seen about, I don't know, one twentieth of the entire map. And uh, you guys will notice that each one of these regions that gets highlighted, these areas can all be owned by the different empires. They're color-coded based on the empire that owns them currently. Um, we're fighting over this one in particular. And the way this is set up is, uh, as I own these pieces of territory, I get bonuses towards capturing pieces that are adjacent. So you have an always moving front line that's constantly getting updated, and you're fighting in different areas of the map all the time. Again, you're fighting over the resources, too. So you'll be looking at that map and figuring out what type of resources that you need, uh, what type of resources you want to deny your enemy. I'm a light assault character, so I can actually drop my own ammo. So as soon as we manage to capture this base, oh, don't kill me. I want my kill streak. Ah. Um, as soon as we manage to capture this base, we'll own this piece of territory and we'll start gaining resources from it. And again, you'll be able to use those resources to do all kinds of cool stuff, from uh, uh, unlocking different red dot sites, uh, unlocking different side-graded weapons, all that jazz. Oh, let's push in. Oh, we got it. I didn't even have to help. So here you can see our indoor uh, environments. We do, have, we do actually have uh, several different indoor areas. And based on what facility you're in, you're going to be spending more or less time either indoors or in that sort of outdoor courtyard fight. Um, I want to go through a couple of the screens in the UI with you and show you guys off some of the really unique stuff that we're, uh, we're doing with the game. First off, we have a profile screen. Um, this is fairly normal, uh, but our screen, we actually surface a whole bunch of really cool stats. Turn this down a little bit. We surface a whole bunch of really cool stats, like uh, your lifetime kills, lifetime deaths, your lifetime kill-death ratio. You can also see over time the way that you've improved. Um, we think this is really meaningful for people to get a, a sense of getting better at playing the game. So I can see that over the last week or so, as we've been practicing the demo, I've actually gotten a little bit better and I've started having uh, more kills, uh, I guess my kill death ratio today is not that good because I kept crashing into trees earlier. Um, but you know, you can see all these things over time. But I can also see the way it's split amongst the different empires. I can see how many kills I've gotten against uh, the different empires that I'm fighting against, against the different, uh, uh, like how many times I've died, how many facilities I've captured against these different empires. All the sort of stuff uh, that really helps you reinforce what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong in the game so you can learn how to play the game better. Um, we also have the same thing for weapons, similar to uh, Similar to what you would see in, in a Battlefield or a Modern Warfare game, you can gain proficiency in the weapons. Unlock different medals for getting kills in them. Uh, all that sort of stuff that really just kind of pushes you towards, uh, you know, continuing to use those weapons, continuing to, uh, uh, you know, level up and get better at using each of the weapons that you really enjoy. So lots of different reinforcement there. I'll also give you guys a brief glimpse at, uh, at our store. Again, a lot of these items are going to be available using completely, completely uh, in-game resources. Anything that affects gameplay, such as grenades or medkits or uh, implants that actually give you additional power within the game, are going to be exclusively earned, uh, exclusively unlocked via resources. Certain things like uh, side-graded weapons that don't give you more power would be a split between using station cash or using um, our in-game resources, and then all the cosmetic stuff is the stuff that you would see that would be uh, station cash only. So that stat stuff that I showed you guys earlier, um, we carry on beyond being in game too. We're actually setting up a full PlanetSide 2 players website that allows you to see all of your stats and your friends' stats uh, right there on the web. So I could go on here and I could see um, all that data that I saw in game right here on the web. 
if you guys are familiar with like Battle Log for Battlefield 3, um, you kind of know what the deal is with this. But we're taking it a step further too because uh, our game is persistent. So people will be really interested in seeing the state of battles that are occurring on their map at any given time. Seeing their friends that are online and fighting, being able to see what region they're fighting in. Maybe they're fighting someplace you really like fighting and you want to jump in and play too. So we'll have real-time status available for your world on here. All the different continents, you'll be able to see that map that I showed in-game on the website as well. And uh, we're carrying all this stuff over beyond just our website. We're making all this data available to everybody. We're setting up XML feeds so all the uh, iPad and Android app makers can be able to make the cool apps that they want to make. Um, anybody who wants to make their own web apps is going to be able to do it too. You'll be able to get access to all the weapon stats that you want to see, um, all the world stats that are real time, and things like character stats, what character has these kills, et cetera. So we're really doing our best to try to push all that data out to people and then hopefully get a really cool ecosystem of apps and websites that are all built around showing people off stuff. And also like, you know, your guild. Maybe you want to show specific stats on your guild. You'll be able to just pull those directly from XML feeds that we'll be generating for people. We think that's really cool. So um, that's our, that's a, uh, that's most of the website stuff. I think there's another really important aspect to talk about with PlanetSide 2, uh, which is the community stuff that Josh kind of touched on really briefly. Um, PlanetSide has a really enduring, passionate fan base, and uh, uh, they've been awesome the entire time that we've been working on the game with helping us come up with ideas, refine ideas, uh, give us feedback about things that we're planning on doing. And uh, I just wanted to encourage you guys to let your readers and your viewers know that uh, you know we're out there and we're listening. We're on forums every day. We're on Twitter every day. We love hearing feedback about it. Um, it's one of the greatest things that about working on this project is all the community feedback we've gotten from the PlanetSide players. And we want to encourage all of your readers to join in, become a part of that community, and help us build the game that you've been wanting to play your entire life. So um, that's, uh, that's it, right? Is there more? Is there more? Yeah, okay. more? Do you, do you guys have anything else you want to say? Is there any requests? Did I go short? Am I short? Okay. I'm being told to play more. I'm going to play some more. I never, I never decline any of Ty's uh, orders. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. I don't know what I'm playing more for. So we have, uh, we have things like these shields that actually will allow, um, won't allow players to pass through them. So if you're, uh, this is a spawn room, so I couldn't get in here without hacking it. We set it up so that you can just walk right in there. That might have seemed a little bit weird, but uh, uh, really you wouldn't actually be able to just walk right in this thing. You'd have to hack this door to be able to do it. We'll show you guys also the, uh, the way this base looks at night, because when it gets all lit up, it's pretty, pretty fancy looking. Oh yeah, question. Well, the factions do have uh, unique uh, gameplay aspects to them. Um, they each have their own unique empire-specific tank and unique empire-specific air vehicle that all have unique advantages and disadvantages. For instance, the Terran Republic vehicles are usually the fastest uh, the Vanu ones are usually the most maneuverable, and then the NC ones are kind of the toughest. They can take the most damage and dish out the most damage. So they do have a different theme to them, um, and they also have different tactics that they're able to use because of those themes. So the VS, for instance, use energy weapons. They don't have to compensate for bullet drop the same way that other empires do. So they, that creates a different gameplay feeling when you're playing that you're playing a sniper on the VS team and you don't have to worry about bullet drop as much, but maybe you're really worried about damage degradation over range. You know, if I get really far away from a target, I'm not going to be able to do as much damage to them because I'm using an energy weapon and that's the trade-off. Um, things like that do definitely affect the gameplay and make it so that when you're fighting against different empires, you're fighting against different tactics and you have to use different tactics yourself. Yeah, so uh, that's, uh, that's Planet Side 2. It's uh, you know, still an alpha. We still have a lot of stuff to do. We still absolutely have a lot of bugs to fix, a lot of content to add. But we're really proud of where we're at right now. I hope that you guys can see all the potential in this. The, you know, a game, this is, a, this is kind of a dream come true game for a lot of us because it's an experience that nobody's ever really had before, except for like kind of the original Planet Side players. The idea of 
enormous, massive combat, being able to have those experiences like hundreds of players dropping out of dropships at the same time to take over bases. And a lot of FPS games try to facilitate that scale by doing things like having cutscenes of aircraft flying overhead and make it feel like it's epic when you jump off the boat or whatever. But all that stuff is just cutscenes. And in our game, it's all real players doing that stuff. That's a dude you can shoot that's flying over you right now. Um, and that's really cool. Really cool, very unique type of gameplay. And uh, for those of us who love competitive gaming and first-person shooter gaming, it's a dream come true. And working on something that's truly unique is a dream come true also. So looking forward to talking to some of you guys afterwards. And uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Cool. Here's Ty. Thank you guys again for coming. For those of you that have interviews, um, if you want to just stick around here, we'll kind of uh, let you know what the deal is. Um, if, if you don't, welcome to our open bar. We have some food as well. And um, check your emails for assets and information. Thank you.